Hi, today I want to talk about using required properties in HubSpot as a way to build guardrails around your process for onboarding customers. We're gonna talk through it in a ticket pipeline that we're using for onboarding. So here we have stages ready for onboarding, getting started, template configuration, testing go live, HubSpot integration setup, and so on. We have a failed state in here and we have a success state of there is onboarding data flowing into HubSpot. So we also have a corresponding arrows plan, which is going to allow us to put a plan in front of a customer, which they can take action in, they can see what's next and get an overall picture of what's going to happen to make them successful with your product. But the first thing, how these stages map one-to-one -one with the phases in our arrows plan, but also if I click into the edit stages option here, you'll see that for this template configuration status, I am requiring a couple of properties. I'm requiring current process documents and success metrics. So let's talk about how we get there and why we're requiring these. And more importantly, how we're gonna make sure that we're getting that information to be able to move this ticket, this customer onto the next stage. So the first thing is current process documents are documents that we need from our customer in order to make progress. So in our arrows plan, we have a task here upload your existing process documents. In this task, we are asking the customer to upload their documents directly to the task. When they drop that in, that information will go to HubSpot and will have fulfilled the requirement here for having their current process documents available because HubSpot and Arrows are syncing data directly to the ticket that the plan is attached to. So that's the first thing. The second thing that we're gonna require in order to move this customer forward is success metrics. That's something that we're outlining up at the top of the plan in this welcome card. We're gonna lay out what are the goals, what are the things that they're trying to achieve, but we want to verify those when we have our kickoff call, which is also in this getting started phase. You'll see here we have confirming your goals. So this is something that once we have done this call, our internal team is gonna make sure that that success metrics property in HubSpot is filled in and correct by verifying that information with the customer. You could use an internal task, you could use a playbook for that call to make sure that your team knows what they need to do in order to get that information. I've just set that up for this one status in our onboarding pipeline, but you could go ahead and do this for every status that you have in your HubSpot pipeline, and then make sure that you have the corresponding arrows plan for the customer actions, the things the customers need to provide to fulfill those requirements, and that you have the internal documentation, the internal playbooks for anything that your team needs to provide to move a customer forward. So using required fields is a great way not only to make sure that you have great CRM hygiene, make sure that you have all the data that you need to fulfill the next steps in the process, but also to create a really clear distinction between what is the responsibility of your team mapped in playbooks and tasks in HubSpot and what is the responsibility of the customer, which can be an associated customer facing plan and the data synced back and forth. Hopefully this is helpful. Let me know what you think. Thanks so much.